hey you, stop, put your cell phone down when you take your dog for a walk. Don't do it. Don't be on your cell phone when you take your dog for a walk. All right guys, I know I don't normally start videos that way, but this is really, really important and it really means a lot to me. So pay attention when you take your dog for a walk. I see so many people so often have their dogs on a leash walking down the street, they're on their cell phone or they're walk, talk, they're talking on their cell phone or they're you know texting or Facebooking or Twittering or whatever it is they're doing on their cell phone. Stop it, just stop it. I'm not saying to leave your phone at home because obviously if something happens, you're gonna wanna have your phone with you, but put your phone away, put it in your pocket. You don't need to be on your cell phone when you're walking your dog, let me explain. Okay, my name is Jessica, I'm the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video, I really appreciate it. Um, if you are at all interested in dog training, dog behavior, dog nutrition, canine enrichment, that's what this channel is all about, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Once you do, the bell will pop up, click the bell and select all notifications, that way YouTube can notify you each time I post a new video. So I am a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. I also authored a book, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. There is a link in the description below. Go ahead and grab your copy. But really quickly, let me take a breath because I'm all worked up over this topic and quite honestly, rightfully so. So I had no intentions of shooting this video today but I was driving home. I picked, I had to take my cat to the vet to have his teeth cleaned. I picked him up, brought him home on my way home. Not once, but twice I saw people walking their dogs on their cell phone. One was like this, the other was like this talking. Stop it, don't do it. This is not your time to get caught up on things. This is not your time to be on social media. Let me explain. To you, you have a big old world and you have the internet at your fingertips and you have all of the stuff that you can be doing any moment, every second of every day. To your dog, their world is your home and where you take them, maybe to the park, maybe down the street on a walk. That's your dog's whole world, you and your home. So when you take your dog outside of your home, this is really exciting for them. Even if they are the most well-behaved dog and you have done a ton of training and they are amazing, excellent, loose leash walking right next to you, they are rock stars. Let me tell you, this is an exciting time for them because they are getting to experience more of the world outside of your home. This is important for them and it's important for your relationship with your dog. This is time for you and your dog to bond. This is time for you to pay attention to your dog, to relish in your dog's enjoyment and excitement of the outside world. This is the time where you need to be really focused one-on-one. -on -one. This is just you and your dog. Walking your dog is one of the best bonding experiences on top of training that you can possibly do. Be there in the moment with your dog because that's where your dog is. Your dog is right there in the moment with you and if you're not there, they've lost their moment. They sure they get to sniff and smell and they still get to experience things outside of the home but you're their person, you're their whole world and if you aren't engaged in what they're engaged in, it's just not the same for them. So put your phone away, put it in your pocket. I get that you need to have your phone on you for emergencies. I totally understand that. Have your phone with you for emergencies, but put it in your pocket. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to follow your dog's lead and not necessarily let your dog drag you all over the place. That's not what I mean. What I mean is Watch, <laughs> somebody here, sweetie. What I mean is watch your dog and the excitement that they're getting and all of the joy they're getting just from smelling the plants and, and soaking in the sun. And how about you take a moment and do the same thing. Enjoy that walk with your dog and just soak in 
how happy your dog is, guess what? It's going to make you happier too because there's no reason. I mean, sure, there can be a million things going on in your life that may not be going exactly the way you had hoped they would be going that day. But look at your dog and smile because take that walk with your dog the same way your dog walks. So enjoy the plants, enjoy the sunshine, be in the moment with your dog. If your dog looks up at you and is like, just wants you to see like, yes, this is amazing. Thank you for bringing me out here. Be there to receive that gaze from them. And of course, yes, take time in your walk to do some training if that is what you do. If that's something, if you have something you're working on with your dog, go ahead, be my guest, do some training on that walk, but be present in your walk with your dog. This is your chance to bond with your dog. Maybe you've had a long day and you've just gotten off of work. Unwind in a walk with your dog because there is no there is no better way to unwind than to see all the wonderful joy and happiness in your dog because as soon as they step out the door, you know that tail is wagging and they're they're just grinning from ear to ear. Be present in that with your dog. Please put your cell phone down and just be present in your walk with your dog and pay attention because your dog is going to let you in on things, is going to tell you things that you may not have noticed. They're going to Maybe somebody across the street is walking and maybe that's not a good person. And if you're paying attention to your dog, you're going to turn around and you're not going to walk into that person. So pay attention to your dog and be in the moment with your dog and put your cell phone away. And that's really the message of this video. If you're already doing this, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear about it. If, if how amazing your walks can be if you just put your cell phone away post in the comments below. I want to hear about it. So again, I am a pet parent coach and dog trainer. I do have a book. You can grab your copy. It is in the description below. The link, just click and get your copy of the book. I really hope you do grab it. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. And maybe you didn't know what it was when you clicked on it. And maybe you learned something. And maybe the next time you take your dog for a walk, you will put your cell phone away. And I really hope you do. And I really hope that you come back to this video and let me know how amazing of an experience that it was for you and your dog. So yeah, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for being here and so much for supporting my channel. Um, if you do have a dog, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out all the other videos on my channel because I know they can be helpful to you. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. See you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.